I carried out a repair on this Audi TT and I thought this video would actually be quite good to show you how I do my blend outs. To prep my panel ready for paint, I use Norton's fade out and blending disc. It's roughly 800 to 1000 grit. I'll key the bumper up using the sanding discs and some grey scotch pad. And you can see the clear difference between the keyed area and the unkeyed area. I always make sure these areas are thoroughly cleaned and I use Ottrell's TD80. This is a process I do several times before I actually start painting. Masking up is a crucial part of the repair process. You need to get this right, especially where you're going to be blending out. I like to use the J-Tape No Edge Blending Plus on the top on the swage and on the where I'm going to be fading out on the bumper I will use the 13mm soft edge foam. On the bumper, I'll set the 13mm back 2 to 3 inches from where my actual fade out will be. Using my 1mm DeVilbis SRI Pro Light or with an HV5 cap, I apply my base coat. I dry my base coat off using a Venturi air blower. I find this actually performs better than other air blowers I've used, especially working alongside the Segola airline heater. Repeat the painting and drying process as required. Before applying my base coat and my clear coat, I always use an anti-static gun. And this one is the Iron Star. It doesn't need to be recharged, just run straight off your airline and it's also ATEX approved. Here's the money maker, applying the clear coat. I'm using the DeVilbis DV1 clear gun. It's on a 1.2 mil setup. I'm working at 1.6 bar and two and a half fluid turns out. My go-to clear coat is the Octral C450 and I will either use the 23 or 24 hardener. It only requires two coats. After applying the first coat of clear, I pull back the soft edge foam that I had where I was blending out on the bumper. Now I'll apply my second and final coat of clear and when it comes to the bumper area where I'm fading out it is important to take it just over your fade out area. In my experience if you don't do this you won't get a good blend. Finally, to achieve the perfect fade out, you need a good thinner. I like the TH730, it's a very slow fade out thinner. Remove all your soft edge foam anywhere you're blending out and then apply a couple of light coats of your thinners. This slow working thinners will dissolve your new clear coat into your old clear coat. When the job's fully cured, I like to use the Kovacs Bufflex pad with a 3000 disc to lightly go over my fade out area. I'll then polish my faded out areas with some Ferrecla G360. I'll use the wool mop head and also for smaller tighter areas I use my Flex PXE80.
If this process is done correctly, you will not see any fade out or burn out lines. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, don't forget you can just DM them over to me or put them in the comments below. And also don't forget to follow me at Damage Undone. Thank you.